Hello everyone, welcome to the channel. Today's question is ransom note. If you are new to the channel, please consider subscribing. We solve a lot of interview question on this channel and that can definitely help you with your interview. The question says, given an arbitrary ransom note string and another string containing letters from all the magazines, write a function that will return true if the ransom note can be constructed from the magazines. Otherwise, it will return false. Each letter in the magazine string can only be used once in your ransom note. And we again with a note, you may assume that both string can contain only lowercase letters. So this is our function and here we have A and here we have B. Can we construct A from B? No, it's written false. Can we construct A A from A B? No, that's why it will return false. Can we construct AA from AAB? True, because we have AA here. And this is how it should work. So let's move on to pen and paper. Let's see how we can solve this question. After that, we will see the code. I have taken two examples. And question is asking that we are given with a ransom note and a magazine. And we need to check, can we make a ransom note from the magazine? That means all these characters should be present in magazine so what is the best way to check that first since intuitive way is that i'll gonna check a in magazine if i have a in magazine i'll gonna remove a that means i'll gonna modify my string to a b then i will check a again and again i will check whether I have A or not. When I have A, okay. And again, I will modify my string. So my new string will become this. And at the end, when I reach to its end, I can say yes, I can make the ransom note from the magazine. But let's talk about more efficient way. What can be our more efficient way? The one way is, I will make two dictionaries. One for ransom numbers and one for magazine i will store the numbers i will store the number with their frequency that means i will store a with 2 and here a with 2 and b with 1 i will find this number in magazine and i will check for the frequency if frequency of all the characters from the ransom are there in magazine and the frequency is same then I will return true. So in this case, I will search for A. I came here, I will search for its frequency. So the frequency of both of A is similar. So I will return true. Let's check it here. Again, I will make a dictionary with A value as two and C value as one. And I will make A with value two and B with value one. I'm gonna check A, I have A, then I will compare the frequency. It's true. Then I looked for C, we don't have C. I will simply return false. But is there any way where we can reduce the number of our dictionaries? Yes. Instead of making two dictionaries, I will just make one dictionary. And the dictionary will be of magazine. I will make a dictionary a with value 2 and b with value 1 and then i will take a for loop in my ransom number and i will check whether a is present in the dictionary or not yes a is present then what i will do i will reduce the frequency and after reducing it will become 1 so now my new modified dictionary is this. Now I came to A. Again, I will check whether I have A in my dictionary or not. If yes, then I will reduce the frequency. And now my frequency will be 0. I reached to its end. Then I will simply return true. 
Let's see this example. I will make a dictionary for this. A with frequency 2. B with frequency 1. I will check whether A is in the dictionary or not. Yes, I have. Then I will reduce the frequency and it will become 1. Then again I will come here. Again I will check whether I have A in the dictionary or not. Yes, I have. Again I will reduce the frequency and it became 0. I came to C. Now I will check whether I have C in the dictionary or not. No, I don't have. Then what I will do? I will simply return false. Let's see another example. Suppose I have A A A and in the magazine I have A A B. So my dictionary will be A with value 2, B with value 1. I came to A. I checked. Do we have A? Yes, we have. What I will do? I will modify my dictionary. And now my dictionary will be look like this. Again, I will come to A. And I will check whether I have A in the dictionary or not. Yes, I have. Then what I will do? Again, I will reduce the frequency by 1. So now it became 0 and P1. Now again I came to this A. I will check do we have A in the dictionary? Yes, we have. And along with that, I will also check for the if value is equal to 0, then also I will return false. So what are the three conditions? First of all, I will check. If not, then I will simply return false. Then if value is equal to 0, then also I will return false. Else what I will do? I will modify. I will reduce the value by 1. And if I pass through all these conditions and I'm done with my and I'm done with my ransom number string then at the end I will simply return true so this was the way I can solve this question let's move on to the coding part and let's see what is the code for this problem so let's see the code first of all we will take care of the edge cases if the length of ransom node is greater than the length of magazine then there is no way I can make ransom node from the magazine, so I will simply return false. Then I made a dictionary and in which I am storing all the characters from the magazine with their frequency. And then I am taking a for loop in ransom node and I am checking if the characters we have in ransom node is not in the magazine, that means if the character is not in the dictionary, then we will simply return false because the dictionary contains all the characters from the magazine. And then I will check the frequency of the character in the dictionary. If the frequency of the character in the dictionary is 0, then I will simply return false. Else, what I am doing, I am simply reducing the frequency by 1. That means I have encountered this character for the one time. Now I am reducing the frequency. And at the end, if I pass through all these conditions, I will simply return true. So let's see whether it works or not. So here I submitted my code and it got accepted. So this was the code for this problem. If this video was helpful to you, please give it a thumbs up. Thank you so much guys for watching the video. Please don't forget to subscribe.